as I see PSYOP, it's uh, sort of a big box with many things that go inside. So one of those things is education, one of those things is developing healthcare professionals, not just education, but also continuing mentoring. Another is research, another is network building, so groups of people doing the same things together. And the fifth is tying all those networks into a single global network, which is PSYOP. So what PSYOP can offer is sort of a, these standards that say, well, we're going to put out some protocols. Here's some standard ways to treat each of these 30 diseases, each of these risk groups. So the hope is to make everybody not only more efficient, but also more solid. I'm uh, really kind of impressed with the breadth, depth, and scope of the work that the PSYOP members do. I mean the human beings who contribute to PSYOP, most of whom are members, some of who are friends of PSYOP or friends of children with cancer, whether a member or not. If they're a friend of a child with cancer, they're a friend of PSYOP by definition, because these are the people who will ultimately get every child cured.